But what do you get for that money? Well, you get an incredible 36.3 megapixel sensor. So this camera really is designed for studio use where you want that incredible detail. So Nikon's taking on the likes of the medium format market with the launch of this. However, that comes at a price. Those photos that you take are gonna be huge with such a high resolution. Around 75, 76 megabytes per photo when shot in RAW in full frame mode. It's powered by the same X-Speed 3 engine that we saw recently on the Nikon D4, and that promises low noise in your photography and also a very fast speed. This camera should start up in around 0.12 seconds and is capable of shooting four frames per second in full resolution. But it's not just for still photography. This camera is also suited for broadcast quality video. It's able to shoot at full HD resolution, that's 1080p. And if you reduce that resolution down to 720, you can shoot at 50 and 60 frames per second, which is great for slow motion with detail and that video is also gonna sound great because you can monitor and adjust the audio through the camera itself on the 3.2 inch display on the rear. And that display is quite a smart display because it has an ambient light sensor integrated which is able to monitor the light levels that in the room that you're in and adjust the color and the brightness of the picture accordingly. Now despite housing a smaller capacity battery than previous models, Nikon says that this battery will actually last longer thanks to uh, improved efficiency of the camera. Nikon says it will get you around 900 shots per charge. Now in terms of memory cards, well you've got space here for both a compact flash card and an SD card and you can choose how the files are saved uh, in a number of different ways. So for example you could just use one as backup or you could use one uh, memory card format for video, the other for still photography for example, or you could use them as an overflow so once one is full it moves on to the other. Uh, there is also going to be a Nikon D800e version available for almost £300 more and that one will have the anti-aliasing filter removed which could introduce some false colours to your photography but should give you that extra level of detail. So only really advisable for people who have the time to adjust all the settings and really do know what they're doing. So that's the Nikon D800 digital SLR. For more details